Hey folks, yes, I do have the lights on full blast, but the trouble is I film at night, so it's going to look dark. And if I don't have the ceiling lights on, it gets dark in this room, real dark. And I have my overhead lamp that gives me enough light so you can see me. But a lot of people are wondering how, what's with the color change. Well, it's depending on the light spectrum. And that's all it is. Now, basically, um, a lot of people say I do doom and gloom. Well, we're in SHTF, but a lot of people want to be happy all the time. And I can't, I'm, I'm kind of getting tired, so. Instead of bitch slapping people, I'm going to start pounding heads. You can't be happy and jolly like a goomba. Okay, I do gloom and doom. If you want a happy channel, go look at the cartoons. Go watch the happy fake media. I don't do that. Okay? I'm my brother's keeper. I take care of people and I solve people's problems. That's why I'm tired. That's why I'm filming at night. This could be one in the morning and I'm still filming. Okay, and I'll wake up four o'clock again taking care of all the problems out there, which drives me nuts. So I gotta keep this short. I got a nice another nice card for Elizabeth. Okay, that's always something to freak out when you're sick. When I was sick, I never got a card for a year. Just me in a room staring at the ceiling. They didn't even pay for a TV. And a lot of people said, well, that isn't bad. You are still alive. You could read. Now, a lot of people can't tell, but I know Mickey of the African Lions can tell. I had a stroke. And you see right down here is what happens when your face is paralyzed and you can't move your right side for a couple of weeks. Try that for a year. Also, I got stomped by a bull. That didn't help out either. And I have to take tranquilizers, so sometimes my answers on your videos gets goofy. Well, I have to take two because I'm horrible, horrible, nut screaming pain. Okay, I hope you enjoy those answers. I'm doom and gloom. If you want something happy, go watch Canadian Prepper prance around. I don't do prancing around. Feet in the ground, not head in the skies. And I don't do fear porn. This is all fact-based. If you want fear porn, hey, there's other channels screaming their head off. They have no idea what they're talking about. Uncle Alan has 40 years of experience. Uncle Alan's retired. So I don't have time to baloney stuff around. You want to see something good? Go over to Corsair Trainer Channel. He's going to have a live stream tomorrow. You can bitch all you want on that live stream. I don't really care. I'm busy. All right. I got real life to take care of. I can't sit every day and bitch for two and a half hour, hour or whatever about things going on in the world. I have to take care of people. Okay. Watch Corsair Trainers videos because a lot of you people are total idiots out there. Okay. So I'm sending Elizabeth, who's in the hospital recovering from cancer, a nice postcard. Still got to write her another letter. That makes two so far. And then I did some shopping for an elderly couple from Walmart. Okay. I used a donation. I spent from the donation money bin $19.80. And I threw in my own cash money of $2.40 to cover up little things. And basically, it's a holiday food box with odds and ends of food. Like SpaghettiOs, uh, instant coffee, uh, corn muffin mix, uh, biscuits. Uh, I have to sit, tell people, you got to get, when you're dealing with elderly people or disabled people, or mentally disabled, you have to get them the easiest soup containers, and that's the tomato soup that you can put in the microwave, get a nice up cup of this size amount of soup, and they don't have to worry about cooking or a hot plate or a stove. 
So I gotta account for all these things. And I'm a brother's keeper. I help out people. I buy food boxes and I deliver them. And they have special requests like beef stew. Now, trouble with Denti's beef stew in certain areas, it went up. Normally, I could get it at 98 cents, but around here, it's double the price. It's $1.98. Even with my wholesale markup, I can't get the prices reduced for enough cans. It makes it valuable because of beef and, and the Gentry Morris factories in a heavy Democratic controlled area, so they can't process food properly at a speed that they can make it cheap enough so people can afford a can of stew. All right? But I'll figure a way and I'll figure out other substitution like chicken stew or chicken a la king. I could add things to the beef stew. I could tell them how to do it. I could set it up. I have a food saver. This is being a brother's keeper, helping people out. And two, I cook for about 16 16 seniors do you cook for anybody else other than your wife or you or your family i cook for 16 people all right they have all special problems they're alone they're either family is dead too far away to help or they have trouble during the corona during the red dragon I almost said the c word okay that's being a brother's keeper a lot of people don't have the balls to do it Uncle Alan has the boss to do it, and I'll solve problems. I have a couple of friends of mine. They had a big news story about buying private islands, and I told them the pros and cons for that. I told them about Easter Island, and I told them if you have any problem, you're going to be like the Japanese that got stuck on these little islands until the end of the war. And they looked at me and said, buying a private island is a bad idea. So I got them other options, like a yacht, or possibly a neutral base country. Now, a lot of people don't understand how my mind works. Fine, I'm my brother's keeper, and I'll take care of people. I had to cut this one shorter. The first one was way too long. I cut this one down shorter. I'm just busy, and also I do a prayer. Okay, FaceTime prayer. FaceTime prayer book for my local area people. I don't do this for other people. If I don't know you, I don't let you into my group. All right. They're from my Sunday school classes. There are people I know for a long time in the valley. And we don't trust a lot of you city slickers. Okay. And here's my favorite quote of the day for uh, common, uh, common Sense with Elizabeth. Okay, but where did all you zombies come from? Okay, see that? I hope you see that. But where? Yeah, but where did all you zombies come from? And a lot of people look at me, and they'll they'll try to think of it. If you read science fiction, you know what short story it comes from. But for me. Okay, you look around there, there's a lot of puppets, there's a lot of mind control people. They're acting like zombies and running around doing stupid things. They're going to get hit next year. If you watch The Simpsons, you have a pretty good idea. If you're not prepared, you're a sheep, and you don't know what you're doing, you're going to be dressed up like Homer and sitting on somebody's roof. Okay, you have a nice night now, and I hope that cheers you up. Like I said, I am not... Happy bunny prepper. Okay? If you want that, go to another channel. Uncle Alan got both feet planted on the ground. I have 40 years of experience. I suffered so much damage that it would probably kill you in a heartbeat. Catch you later, folks.